Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yvonne, and I'm back with a part two of my pandemic grocery haul video. Um, you guys saw everything I got in the last video. I'll post it here or here. Um, yeah, so go check that out and see everything that I stocked up on. And so we haven't even really begun to get to that food yet because like I told you, we still have food left over from um, before we had this whole pandemic situation going on but um just to add to some of the things we needed with the other stuff that are more for like right now next week the week after guys um this is what we got okay guys I got this and then I'm gonna show you the other groceries so guys um right here let me go ahead and show you the meat I got turkey leg I love turkey legs my husband wants to smoke them. I like to cook them in the oven, season them up real good, rub it with some olive oil, wrap it up tight in some foil and let it bake for about an hour. And it's like falling off the bone, full of just flavoring juices. Anyway, so I was craving fried chicken and I don't know about you, if you're gonna be stuck in the house for two weeks, you might want some fried chicken at least once in your life. So I got the fry, I got the uh, chicken legs which they had another pack at the store. I went to Jovi's this time. They had another pack at the store and it was like maybe six, seven chicken wings, chicken legs in there. And it was like a dollar or something, like less than $2 for the whole pack. And I was like, this is concerning. No, we're not gonna get this. <laughs> so I just went ahead with the regular pack. Um, So also I wanted to get some Alfredo sauce because I make a really good Cajun style Alfredo, like chicken Alfredo, but they didn't have any more Alfredo sauce. They barely had any spaghetti sauce so I was like I'll just have to make it from scratch that's why I got my creamer got two of these so I can make um, my heavy whipping cream so I can make my own sauce for the chicken alfredo. So um, Rihanna was at the store with me. She was like, they they like these. So this is something to kind of tie the kids over for lunches. Um, got the Hot Pockets here, pepperoni flavor. I got one of these for when I don't feel like cooking. Yes, lasagna guys. Got the lasagna for the oven. Guys, and for like fun meals for um, me, the kids, Brandon. Um, I got us some chicken wings, some of the tequila lime flavor wings, guys. So let me show you what else we got. Okay, so guys, here I got some more strawberries for the freezer um, because I like to make my protein shake in the morning. Um, and I got some pineapple to go with it because I, I like it to kind of spice up the flavor, not spice up, but you know, spruce up the flavor, make it a little more um, tart and sweet because I like mine like that. I don't like things tasting bland. We got the um, Gouda shredded cheese. We got two packs of those because they didn't have Parmesan, but I think Gouda is still a good cheese to make a cream sauce with. So I've got that. I'll I also have white wine if I end up finding, a, uh, um, I have leftover white wine from cooking if I end up finding a recipe that needs white wine. So I've got that. I've got this mixed cheese because we put it on a lot of our food, but right now we've got a lot of hot dogs and we've got some um, chili sauce or yeah, we got the chili, canned chili for the hot dogs to make some chili cheese dogs. So that's why I got this shredded cheese. We like shredded cheese on our chili cheese dogs. I got a little bit of fruit because sometimes I get a lot of fruit in the kitchen don't finish it so we got apples we got tangerines um i haven't had tangerines in a long time these look really good so i figured hey why not get the tangerines we are stocking up on our butter got some more butter i had two of these blackberry packs but the lady that was checking them out accidentally dropped one and she asked me if i wanted it and i was like of course not keep that um we got the strawberries of course they are really big they have packs of bigger ones than that we finally found some creamer they only had the big ones left and we've got some more milk because the kids are flying through the cereal and milk and things like that so we got the egg this is the only size of egg they had that had the extra large um unless i wanted the regular large eggs i had to get that really big pack and i don't want that i don't have room for that in my fridge so that's what we got here guys um stocking up on all of our cold items frozen items and fruit also got some um bananas as well okay guys so We've got the Coke and we've got the Sprite, guys. We've got the Gatorade here and another pack of Gatorade. They would only let you get two packs of things at the store. So, I mean, that was all I was getting anyway, but um, we tried, they didn't have any cases of water, guys. So I saw these, these were the only waters they had, which is alkaline water, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. They were like a dollar something each, um, but they only allowed us to get two. So we got the two. I got some Arizona. Um, watermelon 
fruit juice cocktail. And I've got um, some lemon berry squeeze, Hawaiian punch. Got some pineapple juice here. Good for the immune system, guys. Also got um, here, I wanted to make sure I had some extra cleaning product. Got this for the uh, toilet. I was watching another video and she made a good point saying that you don't have to only use this for your toilet, that you can use it for other surfaces. So I guess I would do that if I haven't already stuck it all the way in my toilet. But um, this is the only like hand soap I could find that actually said antibacterial. Um, so we got that. I got some gloves because I think I'm going to need them. We've got the Tylenol here because we were hearing in the news and the media that you should not be taking ibuprofen if you do come down with something and you think that you might have uh, the coronavirus, God forbid. Um, so we got Tylenol. I have extra Tylenol, but I wanted to make sure that we had enough. So I just bought one. Um, finally found some flour that was an actual big pack. Got that there and got the um, sugar. They didn't have sugar when I did my Walmart grocery pickup, guys. And so then we actually made spaghetti the other night. I wanted to replace the spaghetti noodles I already used. We still have a lot of like pasta in the pantry. Um, right now <clears throat> so then i got two of these small they look big right here on this camera but they're not got the one pound bags of rice because i already got a bigger pack of rice the other day so i got a extra rice because i'm gonna be making lots of meals with beans and things like that got the cornbread mix because i'm making chili tonight actually chili beans got the foil because i didn't want to run out of foil for cooking and we got extra oatmeal we eat oatmeal but junior really likes oatmeal and and we got the quick oats so that he likes those. It's easier for him to eat. We got the snack pack of the Chips Ahoy Oreo and Nutter Butter so that the kids can have something to snack on. And got extra coffee as backup. We've got um, just a little snack. Got two of these for the girls. One of these for me. One of these for Brandon, his favorite. Got these so that they're individually packed um, and separated for the kids so we don't have to figure out how many they're getting and they can just grab and go. So we also got these the kids like to eat the granola bar so we got some of those guys and so that's what we're doing right here and let me take you around okay guys we got um remember that huge pack of hot dogs we got in the last video well i was like okay let's get some buns so that we can have chili cheese dogs here soon. Um, it expires on the 23rd, which is really soon, so I guess we'll be eating that really soon. But we can freeze some of it, but I don't really want to. If I have to, I will, but probably not gonna do that. So we also got another loaf of bread. So we are still working on two other loaves of bread. One of them is like very wheat, and the other one is like a butter top wheat. Okay, so we got um, chips. We got these, they did not have any more um, actual name brand variety pack chips. So I went ahead and got two of these hot Cheetos, flaming hot Cheetos, got two of those guys. And we got the nacho cheese Dorito. And so that's it guys. Um, Comment below, tell me what you got. Tell me what you stocked up on. Tell me what you couldn't find. Tell me what, what's it looking like in your neck of the woods? Because I'm seeing people, um, Okay guys, but yeah, tell me what you couldn't find in your stores. Tell me what you stocked up on. Tell me what was going on in your neck of the woods, guys, when you were going shopping, shopping and trying to stock up on everything that you needed for your household to make sure that you guys were set just in case you had to stay home for two weeks or more. I have no idea how long this is gonna go on, guys. Um, But yeah, if you're new to my channel or if you're not new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button below the red button and then click the gray bell so that you can be notified of future videos when I post them guys but yeah guys please comment below tell me what's going on in your area how are you preparing and planning for this pandemic guys um it's it's getting very real okay and um we're here in Houston and things are getting real here in Texas so I understand what's going on across the world right now and in the U.S. right now guys um guys if if you guys want to see more of the 
grocery haul videos from me, please comment below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like seeing the grocery haul videos from me, guys. This is something I actually um, do on a regular anyway. I do stock up a lot when I grocery shop. I don't just buy things for the day, for the week. I like to stock up. I don't like to go to the store every day, every week. It, it's a lot of work, so I like to get it all done at the same time, but I like to actually plan it out and I have a whole list of meals that I've made and meals that I know how to cook and I just pick from that list and decide on what I'm gonna cook for that week or that month or you know I kind of get 15 meals together for the month and then kind of wing the other meals in between and eat the leftovers so guys if you're interested in knowing how I plan and prep or prepare or grocery shop or you want to see what I got just for ideas because I know I like to see ideas like that from other people on what they're shopping where they're shopping what they're shopping for where they're shopping you know how they're shopping how they're planning out their meals for their families it just makes it easier on you than to try to use your own brain capacity 100% of the time in the day um, to do everything for your family sometimes it's okay to to follow somebody's already mapped out plan sometimes just to give yourself a break but guys yeah stay tuned um, we have lots more videos coming guys thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time right here on 30 under construction bye guys if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at 30 Under Construction. And be sure to subscribe to Brandon's channel and follow him on Instagram at brandon.more.music. And don't forget to watch my latest videos. Bye guys!